Yes, the title is correct. This isn't clickbait. The title is correct. I've never had Lunchables before. We're recording at a random setting here. The atmosphere feels like a like a horror movie, like a Lost Files type of movie. Let me turn this on here a little bit. Uh, there you go. Looks a little better. Just watch out back there just in case anyone, like, you know, just in case anyone comes through. Just give me a heads up. Just scream at me. I'll, yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to lean into this bit like I'm stranded or something. Mm -hmm. All right, boys. Uh, <laughs> there, there's your little thumbnail. Lunchables has definitely been like a like a poppin' topic recently, mainly because of the whole lunchly launch poppin'. Yeah, a lot of alliteration here. A point is, Lunchables has been talked about a lot more recently because of the whole lunchly situation, and I've talked about it a couple times. Not for positive reasons though, but mainly for negative reasons, thanks to KSI, of course. And after making a couple of videos about lunchly, it made me think. I've never had a Lunchables before, period. I've never had a Lunchables before. Maybe I'm privileged, I don't know. But I've just never had uh, Lunchables. I've always just had school lunch, you know what I mean? So, and I guess back in the day, I guess a little story time. I moved here in fourth grade, right? Fourth grade, they, you know, they served lunch and everything. Prior to that, I was in the Philippines and we didn't really have anything called Lunchables over there. Maybe we had something similar, but we just didn't have Lunchables, right? So I guess maybe that's one of the reasons why I've never had a Lunchable. But yeah, this is gonna be the first time I'm trying Lunchables. Um, I'm curious, man. I don't know. There's a lot of meals, but I only picked two of them and two of the ones that I'm mostly interested in. I don't really have any interest in the, the crackers and cheese and turkey thing or whatever. And they also have like a cold sandwich. I didn't really care about that. The only thing I cared about and I thought would be interesting to try the, the pizza and also the, the nachos. And it's appropriate because uh, these are the two flavors or these or these are the two meals that Lunchly makes as well. So when Lunchly inevitably comes to my city, um, at least I'm ready to, you know, do like a versus thing. So give it a shot. See what happens. If it tastes good, it tastes good. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm going to be completely honest. I know this is a lot of people's childhoods and, you know, that's cool. That's cool, man. This isn't my childhood. This is just a lunch kit to me. All right. Now, this is the pizza. Let's try the pizza first. And it comes with a Capri Sun, which is a W in the chat. I guess it's, uh, that's just without further ado, let's unpack. Making this meal, it's supposed to look like this. Uh, it's supposed to look like this. I have to put pizza sauce and then both of the cheeses on top i know they have a pepperoni one which actually that's the type of uh pizza that lunchly makes is with pepperoni not the extra cheesy but this is the bread like a cold tortilla i guess i don't know we also got an airhead so w in the chat and this right here is the pizza sauce hey, i don't know hey man give it a shot Oh shit, I don't think that was supposed to happen. No. Nutrition facts here really quickly. 320 calories, 500 milligrams of sodium, 14 grams of protein. All right, let's start. Dump some pizza sauce right here. Okay. Dump some cheese. Let's just see if it tastes good. Like I said, man, first time trying it. I'm curious, I'm curious. There's my pizza. There's my pizza. Bon appetit. It's not bad. The sauce is definitely on the sweeter side. Expectedly, the bread is chewy the cheese is not bad man definitely a little bit more processed than normal like shredded cheese but i can't hate not too bad you know what let's go in for seconds i don't know why i'm just <laughs> i don't know why i'm really quiet here i'm genuinely like trying <laughs> i'm hustling here i'm hustling here's another pizza boom more cheese on there and everything we're fine dining tonight boys fine dining now this makes me think right what is lunch really gonna taste like compared to this i've seen some reviews i've seen a lot of negative reviews now i don't know if it's because it, it really isn't anything special or the hatred for you know the the makers of lunchly a mix of both or whatever it is but i'm curious i'm very curious is it gonna taste the same as lunchables is it gonna taste better worse i don't know and um i'm gonna be completely honest uh when the time does come that lunchly comes here but this so far hey man it's not so bad. Now, would I have this, like, all the time? Oh, hell no. This is probably gonna be the only time I have a Lunchable. Besides when, you know, I get a hold of Lunchly as well. I can't lie, though. I do, I do like the, the cheapness of this. And it's, yeah, it's like $2.79 or something like that. I'll have that last pizza in a little bit. The cheese is good. The pizza sauce is good. I feel like it could be better, but it's not bad. I don't think we really need to food review the airhead here. But I guess we'll try the Capri Sun because, you know, Capri Sun, go. Now, this is the one that I'm, like, most excited about. This is the chips and salsa. Let's not waste any more time and just, I don't know. Let's just, let's just try it. When you open the package, you'll realize right away that the chips are very, very, very small. A good plate of nachos, a good plate of salsa. Looks pretty good, man. So, let's try it. This is the chips. Let's try it by itself. Very good. Now, let's try the salsa. Okay, it's it's fine, but I don't like the fact that it's 
more sweeter than usual. 360 calories, 780 milligrams of sodium, seven grams of protein, Jesus. The salsa tastes more processed because of the sweetness. It's not bad though. Now, the nachos, very, well, I don't know what kind of crack uh, Logan Paul's smoking on because uh, this is still pretty drippy because apparently he likes his cheese drippy, bro. This is drippy still, so I don't know what he's on about. Oh, that was a salty bite. Jesus. Hmm. One second. Lunchable. Lunchable. I was mostly excited about this one, but I'm not gonna lie. The cheese is not that good. It has more of a kick, or I don't even know if it's a kick. Is it? Is it spice kick, or is it something else? I don't know about this one. I think I like the salsa more. Let's try the cheese again. I don't know if I like that. I, I actually don't know if I like that. The flavor isn't all there. Like I said, I, I, <laughs> I think I like the salsa more. What a shame, what a shame. Because I expected this one to be better than, uh, than, than, than the pizza meal. But as soon as I took a bite out of the nacho cheese, I think I like the pizza one more as I keep eating it. Maybe it's an acquired taste. Give me some time. I'm going to eat this at home. Just see what happens. There's your Lunchables review. Overall, it's not bad. And you can't really expect that much out of like a like a kid's meal, you know what I mean? Like I said, I like the pizza meal more. What would I rate each of them? The pizza one, seven or eight. The nachos and the salsa one, four or five. I think a lot of the points that were taken off was just my disappointment because I had such high expectations for the nachos. But hey, it's all good, man. That's it for the Lunchables review. I'm gonna go home and meal prep now. Amen. <laughs> Begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key in my heart just to lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.